These ants are aggressive and will relentlessly defend their nest. Hello there explorers and welcome to A Bugman's Life. It's really good to see you guys. Today we're looking at my most aggressive and largest ant species within my living collection. They're commonly known as the Bulbators. This is Campanotus fulvopilosus and they're commonly known as the tawny, common or karua Bulbators or Kapkara. Both their common names of the group Bulbators and Kapkara indicate to their size and aggression. The first time that I saw a tawny bulbator was in 2013 in Nababib during an outreach and since then I've been wanting to keep this colony. So early January when a friend sent me these photos I was sure that this is a queen tawny bulbator and we made a plan to get the ant to me. When I received the queen from my friend, she already had a single egg. And now, about two months later, there are some nanitics and lots of brood. Feeding this colony, however, is starting to become a challenge within the test tube. Because as you can see, their boisterous nature is making it very difficult. Thus, the time has come to move these ants into a small outworld setup to avoid the difficult test tube feedings. I'm adding sand to the outworld to make it as natural as possible and I'm using white sand so that the ants will stand out clearly to make observing them much easier. The small piece of wood is for them to explore and I'm adding a feeding dish to keep their food out of the sand. The baby powder barrier is crucial to prevent the ants from escaping. I decided to add the ants to this outworld during the night to have them as calm as possible and it seems to have paid off because the queen went to the entrance of the test tube to see what's going on a few times but she returned to the brood promptly. After giving them a few minutes to settle down I placed a small cover over the test tube to keep the nest dark inside. It is the morning after I placed them into the outworld and I'm giving them their honey dish, which is just a bottle cap filled with honey. It took the nanitics quite some time to show their face. And now, after a little bit of time, they're starting to explore outside of the nest, making short runs to see what's around. This nanitic is investigating the baby powder barrier and it looks like it's impossible. It's the ant's third day in their outworld and I've flipped over the feeding dish to make observing them while they eat much easier. It's time to feed them a mealworm. These nanitics might look small and scared, but don't let that fool you. Over the next couple of months, normal workers and even soldiers will start to emerge from the nest. And that is when we will witness the aggression and size of this epic species. If you would like to follow along on the journey of this epic colony, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Then remember to explore, discover and share. I will see you explorers in the next one.